Hey all y'all, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day and thank you for coming to spend some time with me. As always, I'm super excited for this video, but this video I'm particularly excited about because I'm gonna show you how I knit. Now, I'm gonna just say up front that I am essentially an English knitter. Don't switch off the video, I promise. How I knit English style is not what you're used to seeing and if you are an English style knitter who's been wanting to become faster at it or more efficient or whatever word you wanna use, I promise that what I'm going to show you is going to change your world. I hope what I'm going to show you at least will change your world. It changed my world when I learned how to knit this way. Lever style knitting is a way of knitting where the right needle stays still and you actually use the left needle to load stitches on and off of the needle. What this frees your right hand up to do is just throw the yarn. And what's great, I think, about this way of knitting is that it evenly divides the work between your two hands. I think that that makes it um, a little less taxing on your body. True, I knit English style mm, probably 98% of the time, but I can knit continental and I can knit Portuguese as well. I'm quite proficient at knitting continental. I learned how to do it so that I could knit uh, Fair Isle with a strand in both hands, and I do turn to that often when I'm doing one by one ribbing, but I'm gonna be really honest, really honest, this is truth time. I don't like it. Granted, a lot of this is personal preference, and I'm all for knitting the way that you feel most comfortable. But I have seen over the years almost this pressure on English style knitters to switch over to Continental. Like you're gonna be a happier knitter if you knit Continental. I learned how to knit Continental. I was not a happier knitter at all. So I'm here to tell you, if you're an English style knitter who's been told, oh, you should learn Continental, it's so much faster, it's so much more efficient, I'm here to assure you that that is not necessarily the case. That there is a way of knitting English style that is fast, that is efficient, that is enjoyable, that is pain-free, that gives you beautiful tension, and you don't have to knit Continental. Like, it is possible. Hey, look at me. I'm in a slightly different outfit. Two things happened. One, I was editing this video and I realized I had way too much material to put into it. And two, um, this big segment I wanted to do on alternative ways to approach lever knitting, uh, my overhead camera didn't record. So there is going to be a part two to this video and uh, yeah. But in the meantime, enjoy part one. And of course, there are time code stamps below if you want to skip ahead to any section. The way that I'm going to show you how to do this is with circular needles because I knit with circular needles 98% of the time. Um, but you can use straight needles to knit the way that I'm about to show you. My right needle sits in a pencil grip. In the pencil grip, the right needle just sits here in the crook of your thumb, and your thumb and your forefinger act as guardrails. Um, you'll see, I don't hold the needle with a whole lot of tension. I'm not gripping onto it for dear life. It's just my hand is nice and relaxed. Now, when you first do this, your instinct is gonna to wanna to be to grasp on really tightly. And I urge you to work on not doing that. Instead, think of your needle as a delicate egg and you're gonna hold it delicately and lightly and with relax because knitting is like a zen-like activity and you should feel relaxed as you're doing it. How you tension your yarn is also different. Now, you might be an English style knitter who just holds your yarn like this. One of the biggest things you can do to become a better English knitter is to learn how to tension your yarn through your fingers. The way you can do it for lever style knitting, which I really enjoy, is to actually do it over your back fingers. Let me demonstrate. I'm gonna bring my middle finger up underneath the yarn, twist it around, and over my ring finger. So that's what it looks like. I'll do it again. Bring the middle finger up the yarn, twist around, 
and then on top of your ring finger. Now when I first started getting comfortable with this, I actually wrapped it around my ring finger a second time to give me some more control. But as I got better at this, I was able to just do loop like that. Most people, when we learn to knit English style, uh, there's actually even a little like rhyme that goes with it, which is stab them, choke them, pull out the guts, hang them over the cliff. Notice all the work I just did was with my right hand. Instead of that, I'm going to use my left hand to load the stitch onto the needle and wrap and off. That's basically what lever style knitting looks like. So let me slow that down so you can really see what's happening. Position one, left needle is behind the right needle, like this, the tips are touching. The right needle sits between the first stitch on the needle, the first stitch and the second stitch. And I'm gonna keep those tips touching, by the way. Position two, I'm going to move it so that this left needle is sitting on top of the right needle. I'm gonna do that by simply taking my left needle and moving it forward and around the tip of the right needle and back. That's position two. And just like that, easy peasy, the left needle is sitting on top of the right needle and the right needle is through the stitch. I'm going to wrap my yarn counterclockwise. Now I'm going to move my left needle back to position one. So you move the needle away from you, around the tip of the right needle, back and out. That's how you do this with using your left needle to load stitches on and off of the right needle. I'll show you again. First position, move to second position, wrap the needle, move back to first position, out. First position, round to second position, wrap the yarn, back to first position, and out. That's all it is. And the magic of lever knitting is because your right needle is basically held still, it allows your right hand to just be throwing the yarn. And your left and your right hand are really dancing together to do your knitting. Now, obviously, it can take some practice to develop the muscle memory for it to feel really comfortable. And right now, I want to assure you, okay, if you are an English style knitter, continental knitter, or you're a new knitter coming to this for the first time, I promise you can do this. I say this as someone who has learned to knit conventional English style. I learned to knit continental. I learned to knit Portuguese and I learned to knit lever. Every time I started to learn a new way of knitting, it felt incredibly uncomfortable. I sat there and I was like, oh my God, how did I forget how to knit? This is never gonna work. But I persisted. And now I do this and it's perfectly comfortable and it's my favorite way of knitting. This is where I think English style knitting generally has it all over continental knitting. Why? One of the many reasons I do not prefer continental knitting is that doing the purl stitch generally is very different than how you accomplish the knit stitch. And I think that difference in hand motion between doing a knit and purl and continental is why getting good even tension in continental can be a challenge for people. Whereas in English style knitting, your right hand, whether you knit or purl, is doing the same thing, which is this motion. It's a circular counterclockwise motion. So the difference then in how you create a purl stitch in lever knitting is simply how you insert the needle through the stitch. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> now, in the knit stitch, position one is to bring the left needle behind the right needle so that the tip of the right needle is sitting between the first and second stitch. What that does is it brings the right needle through the leading leg or the right leg of the stitch. But in purl stitch, we actually bring the right needle behind the leg here this way, so that the right needle is sitting in front of the left 
needle. And this is true even if you're doing the whole stabby, chokey, pull the guts out, hang them from a cliff thing. So, for purl stitch, position one, left needle goes on top of the tip of the right needle. Notice the right tip is sitting in front of this first stitch, not in between like it does with the knit stitch. I'm going to move the needle away from me around the tip of the right needle and back. This is second position now. So the left needle is now sitting behind the right needle. Then I'm going to wrap my yarn. Then I'm going to bring my left needle back to the first position. So I bring the needle again away from me, around the tip of the right needle, and back, out. And just like that, I've knitted my purl stitch. Do it again. First position, left needle on top of the right needle. I bring it around the tip of the right needle to the back, wrap my yarn, and then I bring it back to first position and out. And that's how you purl. When I first started doing the purl stitch and lever knitting, I did kind of struggle with getting the yarn to catch around the right needle. And so I found I had to just angle my right hand a little bit differently than when I knit. You might have to experiment a little bit in terms of how to angle your right hand in order to throw your yarn for the purl stitch. That's it, that's pretty much lover knitting for knit and purl. You're going to read in some reference books, Principles of Knitting, uh, Reader's Digest, Knitter's Handbook, that this way of holding your needle is bad and you should never learn how to knit from someone who holds their needle this way. I'm guessing that most people that they saw knitting with a pencil grip were using the right needle to insert the needle through the stitch, which is conventionally, again, how most people learn how to knit English style. I would kind of agree with them that this, this is the knife grip and is a better option. But in lever style knitting, you're not using the right needle to insert into the stitch on the left needle. So I don't think that's really mm, pertinent to this situation. By the way, if somebody is enjoying their knitting, getting good tension, and is pain free, their knitting is fine. So let's stop judging everyone's knitting, all right? Well, at least let's not judge how people knit. Let's judge each other's knitting quietly and behind people's back, the way, you know, society intended. I'm kidding. Um, the other gripe that comes with this style of knitting is when you knit this way, and you might have noticed it while I was demonstrating stitches, the work off the needle does start to back up into the crook of your thumb. Now, some people seem to think that means that when you knit lever style, you can only do small projects. But really, no, you don't. All you do when the work starts to kind of gather up too much, you just take your thumb and you put it underneath the fabric and you go about knitting. Some people think that when you knit this way with your thumb underneath the fabric, that you're really making the uh, yarn grubby and the work is somehow lessened. In my experience, that is not the case. Regardless of how you knit, you're handling the fabric. Whether I'm holding it this way or I'm using a knife grip, <laughs> there we go. I'm using a knife grip, I'm still handling the yarn. Frankly, I think if people are finding that their knitting is getting grubby or the yarn is looking worn out knitting this way. I personally think it has more to do with how tightly you're holding this needle. When you hold your needle in a pencil grip, you want to do it lightly. When you first start, you'll probably be holding the needle pretty tightly as you're, you don't have a lot of confidence that you're going to be able to control this needle holding it this way. But trust me, it is possible, it can be done. Some of this will just come with practice. Sometimes as I'm wrapping the yarn, some people call this flicking, the working yarn will sort of <laughs> jump up and get into the way. 
not a big deal. Truth be told, normally when I knit, I don't keep my ball of yarn this close to me. Instead, I throw it down on the ground. And having that really, just keeping that yarn like a good distance away from your work really kind of prevents that, the working yarn jumping up and getting into the way. Something that does happen to me with this style of knitting is not completing the stitch. It's pretty easy to just transfer the um, stitch to the right needle without actually having finished the stitch. Um, so that is something that I have to be cognizant of when I do this. It happens most often when I'm not looking at my knitting as I'm doing the stitches. <laughs> but you can see as I'm knitting, like I have good speed. And I can tell you right now, around the time that I started knitting this way, I was starting to experience wrist pain, which is always a scary thing for us knitters and crafters is when we start experiencing wrist pain because it's like, oh no, carpal tunnel, tendonitis in the wrist. These are real, real issues if you're knitting a lot. Um, and when I switched to this way of knitting, that went away. Like I stopped having any wrist pain. So yes, there are some drawbacks to lever style knitting, but I think, you know, every style of knitting has its pros and its cons, and it's always a matter of do the pros outweigh the cons. And to me personally, the pros of lever knitting, which is really evenly divided work between your two hands, great tension, um, really good ergonomics, really outweigh any of the cons. So that's it. That's lever knitting. That's how I knit. Uh, like I said, I can knit Continental, I can knit Portuguese. I'd say 98% of the time I choose to knit lever knitting style. Um, it's my favorite way of knitting. It makes me the happiest when I'm knitting. And I think it's probably the way I'm gonna knit for the rest of my life. Unless somebody comes up with some way of knitting with your toes that I find is just fantastic. Because I don't know how many more ways I can learn to knit with my hands. What do you think? Is this something you wanna try? Are there any techniques in it that you looked at and you said, hey, Maybe I don't want to do this whole thing, but yeah, maybe it's worth learning how to use my left needle to bring stitches on and off. Maybe that can bring in some efficiency. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up, and I hope you come back to watch more videos as I make them. I'm just starting my YouTube journey. If you want to see how this goes, please hit subscribe, that little bell in the corner. Uh, when you click on the bell, that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Listed down below is my social media. I am on Ravelry, Twitter, and Instagram, most active on Instagram. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, whenever you're watching this, and as always, happy knitting. Bye! Hey, all y'all. <coughs> well, that was a good start. <laughs> the way I used to tension my yarn was to bring it underneath my pinky needle. Pinky needle? What the hell is a pinky needle? All right. So that is how I like to lit. Coffee. Almost there. Almost got it. Urgh. Nail this. We can nail this. We can do it. We can do it. Ah, fudge. Oh, damn it. Major disasters happen, but it's okay. I'm pulling it together. We're gonna get through this. Pat on the back, score. <laughs>